we're going to experiment with hot oil blowing a little flash suppressor I made for an AR-15. It's a Decker glow piece made out of some twisted rod, one inch diameter. And I've got it all polished up and we're going to put it into an oven and bake it and drop it in some oil and see how it turns out. According to this tempering chart that I found, uh, looks like we're going to Try to get the steel up to about 540 degrees, get it to a nice dark purple color. And fortunately, I have access to this Blue M heat treating oven. So I dialed this thing into about 550 degrees. And then we're going to put it in there and uh, let it bake for a while. Let it get up to temperature and then uh, we'll look at it in about an hour and see if we got it up to 550 and what the color looks like. And after that, Pull it out and drop it in some oil and see what the final results look like. Once we pull the parts out of the oven, we're going to dip them in this uh, standard motor oil that I decided to experiment with. We got a little metal tin that the parts don't melt through something that's plastic. Just be sure that you get something that'll be able to take that 500 plus degree heat. Alright, it's been about a half hour and I figured we'd check on the parts. Also, after I signed off before, I decided to put a second one in. Which we're going to heat up to 590 degrees to get more of a blue color. Looks like we're starting to see some color change on those. Leave them in there for another half hour and then we'll dial up the oven after we pull out the first one. Alright, now we're going to try one with another method using a torch to heat the part. The oven's taking a little longer and we're finding higher temperatures than I anticipated. So we're going to try this one with a torch we're using a yellow matte gas type uh, gas. And the uh, other thing I forgot to mention earlier was that you want to make sure that the part is completely clean. Uh, any oil or residue or fingerprints on the part can cause unequal uh, coloration or cause discoloration. I usually use a carbon choke cleaner. It evaporates quickly, gets the part nice and clean. So I'm going to use this torch here and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to heat the part slowly and equally. Otherwise, you're going to get different colors and hot spots. And it won't be as evenly colored as if you just take your time and do it slowly. Parts should change from the silver color into a white gold, into a dark gold, into an orange, and then into a blue, into a purple, and then into a blue. If you go beyond the blue, it will turn a dark gray color. I know that turns dark gray because on the first one I tried, overheated it and it uh, went pretty quick from turning the gold color into the dark gray. So we got to be in the fourth over here. Try to get it to stop at the correct there we go, and now we're starting to get that gold color. Quick. 
color shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting that dark purple color. I'm going to get a little bit of blue coloration on the top, so I'm going to stop it right there. Next up is going to be we're going to remove the part from the screw that's holding it down and quench it in the oil. Make sure you got your safety glasses on or a splash shield so that it does happen to spatter and won't get you. And then we're going to leave that sit in there. And let that sit in there for a little bit to cool off. I think they were recommending about 10 minutes, so check back and see how it turns out. All right, we're giving the parts a little bit of time to cool off, and we're going to see what they look like. Take out the first one I did, which I overshot a little bit first. See how that looks? And very dark gray, very nice. And the second one I did, where we stopped at purple. And definitely has a little bit more of a purple sheen to it. It's very dark. And you may be able to tell a little bit, but it does have that purple sheen to it, which is nice. We'll check on our parts in the oven. All right, after playing with this thing for quite some time and adjusting temperatures, finally starting to get uh, the first part blue or purple. I had to dial the uh, thermostat up to 725, so the oven's running about 725, 730 something and uh, the part's finally gotten blue. My infrared thermometer is telling me the part was at 685 degrees. Oops. So let's get that first one out of here. You see this one's nice and purple. The fin's just starting to turn blue. And into the oil it goes. And we're gonna move the other one to the hotter side of the oven, apparently. It's still gold. And we'll close that off and check on that in a little bit. After dialing it up to 735 and letting it bake for a little while longer, we've got a nice blue color on this one here. So we're gonna pull this one out, drop it in the oil. And it's really blue, that's nice. Hope it stays somewhat like that. And drop it in the oil. Let this sit and we'll check it back in about 10 minutes after it's cooled a bit. Here we have all the parts that we did today. On the left is the one that was done with the torch, taken as far in the color spectrum as it would go. Finished out as a almost like a charcoal type color. Very consistent all the way across. The second one is the one that we tried to stop at blue also done with the torch. This one has a little bit more of a color variation in it. It's going between gray and blue, um, probably because the torch is not heating the part as consistently. The third one is the part that we did in the oven and stopped at purple. By putting it in the oil, it seems to have gone back a step and gone back to that dark bronze color uh, they call it dark gold, but it looks more like a bronze to me. Very consistent finish across the entire part. I'm not seeing the big color variations between the ends and at the bottom of the fins as I am with the other two. And then finally, this is the part that we stopped at blue. It seems to have stepped back a little bit as well. It still has a little blue sheen to it. But there seems to be a little bit of purple poking back out so when that part goes into the oil it must cool it down and take the color back a notch so next time we may want to try and uh, run them a little bit darker or into the next shade that we want them to finish at and see if that brings them back to where we want them to be but overall the oven seems to be more consistent all four of them look very nice, very unique. I'm kind of partial to number three from the left, the one that ended up that bronze color. That's very unique and very sharp. I think I'm gonna use that one for myself personally. Hope you enjoyed this. 
If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.